Hey guys, what's happening? Hey, before I get started, I want to apologize to you guys for having to leave class early today. Don't worry, we will do the class tomorrow. I'm just going to start from the beginning again. But my daughter was on the way um, home for this event that she was going to. And halfway here in the dead part of the trip, her car started making noise and going crazy. And it gets dark here early, so I had to go get her. And come to find out, her number five spark plug just blew out of the engine. It was... Uh, apparently those Mustangs have that issue with that mode, that engine. Um, but that's the first time I've seen it. So I had to go to the parts store, which was about 20 miles away, get what I need, hope it's right. Come back, fix the hole, put a, not a helicoil, but an insert in so I can put the new plug in. I mean, when it came apart, it broke the coil and everything. So I had to replace all of that out there in the pitch black dark. I mean, this exit, there was no lights. There's nothing there. And it was scary. But we got it done. And I come back and my computer's crashed. So I'm going to be up all night redoing everything on my computer. It... I had a message that it ran out of memory or something like that. Apparently, the videos haven't been going to the D drive like it was supposed to. The solid state drive, it was going to the C drive and it was full. And it just caused all kind of havoc. So, I'll be up all night doing that. But I wanted to recap these trades. Because I didn't do Monday because I did the swing and I didn't do yesterday. I said I would just get them all today and then today is just crapping out. So the market hasn't been really good this week for me. Uh, it's not really following through on anything. It's kind of back the way it was before we had these last two weeks. Really frustrating and I apologize if my Venting my frustrations in the morning is aggravating, um, but I'm a very, emo no, we, we went through this in the room. I'm not a very emotional person. I'm a very passionate person. I like passionate better than emotional. So I'm passionate about what I'm doing and when it's not working the way I want it to work, you know, and and I know it's not right. It's not the way we should be. It's not how we should act. It's we got to accept what the market is doing. But it's been doing this for so long. I'm ready for it to break out forever, and just be good. But it is what it is. We have to make money no matter what market we get. So I have to get my mindset back into taking what the market gives us. And, you know, I think I kind of did that today. It's just that that first trade, which we're going to look at, kind of dug me in the hole. So let's take a look at Monday's trade. Now, Monday, you know, I did the swing stuff and I completely forgot to go back and print this chart. Excuse me, print this chart and my entries in, in the exit. But you guys that were in chat. You saw the entry. You saw where we got in. This was an opening range break breakdown that never ended. It never ended. And I took it off at 341. It just never ended. I was sitting in the carpool line and took it off. And I was like, man, this, this is ridiculous. I mean, the, the, the target was the 100 period. And all day long, it just crept up. Finally, they ran into each other. And I only made a couple of dollars. But really, I think this was $156 and some change. But um, I had to download this 
on Trader View so I could get the um, times. But if you were in chat, you already know. And a lot of you guys take snapshots of it anyway, so you already know what the entry was. The only thing you probably didn't get was the exit because you saw it just running, 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 running all day. All right, but that was Monday. Um, so I blew that off. I'm like, okay, it's Monday. Everything is slow. We're not going to get what we need. And then um, Tuesday hit and it was really... I, I kind of got uh, oh, a little overly excited here. I I missed the breakdown here. And I had my finger on the trigger because I was waiting for it to pop back up close to the 230 and I was going to get in. But I had to get up and close the door. And when I got up, my finger being on the trigger, I hit the button and I got in. Now, I was going to enter this anyway. It wasn't that I was not going to take the trade. I was just kind of waiting for it to do one of his patented pop-ups back up so I could um, get a better entry on it. But, you know, I didn't get to, to do that. Really nice move down. And then I got upset because we could not get the follow-through. So we bounced here right off of this level. You can see it's a pre-market level. Guys, we got to respect these. We got to respect them. It bounced off the pre-market level. It rejected the nine here or stayed below it. We came down and tested it, made a lower low, but it got bought up off of it. So I should have taken this off right in here, right? I mean, this is a clear reversal, a clear change in, in uh, momentum. And I didn't, I just kind of held on to it and ended up taking it off here. Um, and then we came back down, I went and got short here and we made a higher low. We could not get down to this. So I went ahead and took it off once we pulled back and we never really got there. Um, never really got there, but I, I tried to get it short again here because it didn't, it didn't push the 20. Looked like we were coming back. I got it short here and ended up giving back some of the money. I think I added this up. I, I think I would have been up over 500 bucks. But I gave back like $160, $175 of it on this trade here. So only ended up with $366.19 um, yesterday. So that was yesterday's trade. Um, Today, you guys saw this. I didn't get it. I didn't get to do the final thing because my computer's full bar right now. But that's always the last thing I do. But what I'm going to start doing now is keeping up with what I made long and what I made short. You know, and this is just how much it is. My it, it doesn't count the fees or commissions or anything like that. What I'm trying to track is when I go both ways, I just want to be able to see which way I made the most money on. Because when I do the, the final one like this, it just gives me a net. It doesn't tell me what I made long, what I made short. So if I'm able to get everything put together um, before midnight, I'll do it and and I'll have that on there but hopefully i know i'm gonna be up all night reinstalling everything and then i've got to rebuild my platforms because it lost all of my files with my my desktop and all of that i mean it's 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 bad but um let me stop thinking about that now but this trade um today i got <clears throat> I got faked out. Um, obviously, we're selling off, right? We're selling off. I know this is on short sale restriction, but I like the windows to the downside. I like those. So I'm, I'm thinking I can make a really good hit this morning, a really good hit, and then just lay back and enjoy the rest of the day. Um, just get in a trend and let it work. But 
I got in, it dipped down for like two seconds, and then it ripped up. I thought I had a good point as my stop. It should have been fine. I think 85 or 87 cents or something like that was the ATR getting in here. And I, I thought a dollar would be fine. But it ripped through it. And so, you know, I could have come unglued, but I just cried like a baby. But I stayed focused. Once we broke the high, we flipped it. We went long on the five-minute opening range breakout and just hit the moving averages. 51st, we got some halfway between where we are at the 50 and the 100, 100 final target. I took all of it off. You know, you know, sometimes I get to the final target, I leave a little piece on. On days like today, I'm not doing that. If the market's not my friend, then I'm, I'm not going to do it. I really should have flipped this short against this because we, we pretty much knew what was going to happen at 100. We see it every day. But it pulled back to the 50, and I got faked out again. This was, you know, we, we held here. This candle opened, sold off a little bit below the 50, got bought back up, closed above the 9. This candle opened. It was green. It pushed up over the close of this candle that had closed above the 9. This confirmed us claiming the 9 and holding the 50. But guess what? The market gon don't give a damn what we think. It turned around, came back, stopped me out. So, you know, it came down. I waited. And we were watching this as soon as we broke. We got in under the VWAP. First target is the opening range high. And you can see this, this level held up pretty much all through lunch into early afternoon. It wasn't until after 1.30 we broke. And I got some at this level here. Um, but we never could get through 31. And I ended up taking it off. Turned out to be a good, you know, good take up. Because I would have been stopped out up here anyway. So, kind of made it a, a decent day. Um... And it was okay. I think, uh, I think it was around one hundred and sixty-three dollars or something. I can't really remember. I I'll find out later on tonight. But that's about where it was. Um, had it not been for this trade, this would have been a really good day's work. A really good day's work. This is exactly what we like to do. You see me following my mo every day. I'm staying consistent. I'm staying focused on the stop that I chose. And if that craps out, then, you know, I'll look at other stocks on my watch list. But I'm trying to stay focused on one stock and taking it, everything that it gives. And I have less exposure, less risk, less stress, and consistency. And that's how you build your account. That's how you grow your wealth is just having consistent gains. It's not going to be big home run trades, but consistency. All right, so that's going to do it for me today. Um, we're going to, yeah, tomorrow. We're going to have a class tomorrow. Uh, we're going over the earnings email that I send out to you guys every day. Um, how to read it, uh, some of the things that I do, how I look at, how I read the articles, um, how I determine what the guidance is going to be, well, that the guidance is expected to be, um, and all that good stuff. So it's not so much the strategy tomor tomorrow, it's how I, I go about using the data that I send you. So you can understand it and understand what it means and kind of make your decisions based on that. 
but it also gives you really good insight to that stock tomorrow, the next day, because it's got a grade in it and it's going to give you an idea of how much that stock typically moves the day after earnings. And when you see that, that's going to help you determine what stocks you want to trade or where you want to focus your attention. Because if you have a stock that doesn't move much on the day after earnings, you probably don't want to hit your wagon to that because it ain't going nowhere. But we'll go over the, over all that tomorrow. And that's it. So you guys have a great night. And I'll be up all night. So think about me while you sleep.